What's up guys, The Confident Gamer here, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program, once again. Um, as you can see, on Kerbin, there's a couple clouds. Yeah, I've added a couple mods. And, this is a new series, because, I've added an amazing mod called Manned Before Unmanned. Right. And it's really good. I'm gonna use that flag, I like it. Um, but yeah. It's a really good mod. Instead of... I'm just gonna do this. Alright, so... Instead of, uh, you know, having the usual... I'll, I'll show you, because it's hard to explain. Wait, it loads. It'll load in. There we go. Oh, I've added a city mod as well, like as you can see over there. There's a little city, we can go explore that. But, go into here, you see, we have um, a little bit of something that's changed up. So, it switches out all the manned for satellites until, I think, a bit later on. I think this gives you, yeah, this gives you a manned um, craft, but it's aircraft, and I like that, um, which is good, because, you know, in this one, it's quite more realistic, because, you know, you do, <clears throat> you use um, the parts that you, you know, like, kind of back when uh, Sputnik and stuff were launched, they didn't have the technology to carry humans yet so I like it I really like this little aspect of the mod um, VAB welcome yep I know um, so I'm just gonna make a basic thing so I'm gonna I'm gonna have like little adapter there and then have one of these and because there's no manned as well they've got rid of the parachutes so you pretty much have to have a comms device on board so that you can, of course, transmit. So I'm gonna add like two. I'll add like four so that it makes sure that it can, it's in range. Um. So science. I like I like to have one of these. It swaps out the uh, goo container as well. I'll have one of these and one of these. And because, oh, I talked about that already. I was going to say the same thing, but, yeah. That should do. This will crash into the ground, by the way. This will be destroyed because, you know, stuff happens. Actually, before I do that, all right. Confident craft, I'll call it. Nah, um. Consat one because these are all satellites the only thing I'm going to be sending into space is satellites and probably suborbital uh, kerbals but no nothing crazy yet no orbits or anything for kerbals so I am gonna let this load oh I went to launch okay I'm gonna go to space center real quick loads. I think it's taking longer to load because I'm recording and everything. Right, so, going into here, do that and do that. Go. Huh. Okay. Alright, so let's uh, let's launch this thing and see how good it gets, how how well it does even. There, words are bad, mouth. Okay, so um, oh wow, I'm really up close and personal with this thing. Okay, so I'm gonna log the temperature. Okay, so it's just the normal stuff. 
Oh, that's the pressure. All right, low temperature as well. Oh, actually, I have to transmit down there because I can't use the other thing. Done. Okay. Um, transmit this as well. Transmit. And then I'll I'll do these two whilst I'm flying. Right, so can you go? You can go. Oh my god. It's shaky. Oh. Yeah. I didn't have any stability on this. It's okay though, it, it doesn't really need it. So it's doing pretty well to keep itself upright. And it's done. Okay, so that's spent. Now I'll just log the pressure. Transmit that. Wait, what? No! That is transmittable, so... Actually, I might actually log the temperature and then transmit them both. Transmit that as well. Yeah, there we go. Oh, so both of them come out. So there is a thing, it's just being weird. Done. Both of them are done. Nice. So now we gain science. And this is useless, but I have to watch it fall to the ground. Holy crap. <laughs> that just went flying off into... Not into orbit, probably somewhere, though. Does it show the... No, there's no debris. No debris, actually. Okay, so... Yeah, this is, this is just going to blow up. This isn't doing much. It's not a bomb either. It's just something that blows up because I haven't got the technology to make um, parachutes yet. I think now that I've done this, I'm gonna do a little bit of um, work on planes and stuff. Oh, by the way, I've added another mod that you might like once I've um, crashed this into the ground. Oh! Will I be able to recover that? Yes, I will. Nice. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'm going to recover that. When it stops rolling. Wait, can I? Can I control this? No, I can't. Okay. So, recover that. I'll get a lot more. Well, a little bit of money from that. And the money from the launch. Which is good. Alright, so KSP just crashed. Like, it literally just went nope. And just crashed itself off. Um, I don't know if. Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, this is it. Okay, good. Um, yeah, it just literally just crossed itself off, and that was it. I never heard from it again. But yeah, I'm back, and I think it's uh, worked it off now. And I hope that it's actually worked. Yeah, good. It's not corrupt or anything, good. Um. So, I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to buy some parts. I think I'm going to go for... That'll leave me with three. Alright, so, that should work. Ah, that's one. Okay, so, I've got zero science. I can't launch any planes yet, I don't think. Actually... I got any no I haven't got any manned things. I'm gonna have a little car. Um I don't know which way that is. Um yeah I'm gonna make a rover. Actually, yeah, which, which way is the top? I'd say, I'd say the curved bit. There we go. Let's do that. So let's add some wheels. I'm going to make a little rover. I think because the wheels are like that, I think it's like that. So, um, I'm going to put the wheels here and then I'm going to take this, bonk it down a little bit. But I'm actually going to use this one over here. 
Okay, so that works, right? Yeah, good. A little bit that way. And then up. Perfect. That's good. And same with another. So, oh no, drag up a bit, that's it, that's perfect. So, it's a little rover, um, I'm going to call it Curb Rove 101, well, Curb Rove 1, look, I'm, I'm not very creative when it comes to names, um, and, I'm gonna have. Don't need an S SAS. Structural. Oh, I've only got that. Have I. I don't think I've got any sciencey stuff. Oh, I've got an, a seismic detector. Okay, I'll, I'll put two on. And then. I'm gonna put. Hey, want two of these on? Actually, I don't need them anymore. Never mind. Um, yeah, I think that, that should do. I'll put on some batteries because I don't think there's anything else that will work yet. So I'm gonna add like one of these things. Put it on here. That should work. Okay, so let's. That's my rover. It's pretty, pretty good. It looks. Just have to test it. So which way it's? Ah, that's forward. Oh, the the uh, keys are inverted. D is right. No, D is that way, and A is that way. Like the A D, it's weird. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's let's um. Do a little. Log seismic data. Nice. Okay. And I I don't need to uh, transmit because I'm on the ground always. I can just recover. So how's he? Ah, it's not too bad. I think I could rove around here for a while. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good so far. No, that that won't do anything. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll do one from around here, so that it gives me more science. Oh, what's that? Huh? I'll go see that later. That looks interesting. It's big. It's like the size of one of these buildings over here. I'll have to go see that later on. Huh. Okay. There's the flag for the launch pad. That looks nice. And there's the moon. Yay! Okay, so... Yeah, let, let's do one from the space plane hangar, and then I'll pick, it, I'll recover it, and I'll get all the sciencey goodness. I probably should could have put like four or five on this and went around the space center and done it all, but this is less convenient. Yay! Okay, so I'm almost there. This thing is fast. 11.2. Hang on, I'm, I'm gonna convert that a minute. It's apparently um, either 40 kilometers an hour or um, 25 miles an hour, which is pretty fast for one of these things. I think the Ro Mars rovers are like, I think it's less than one mile an hour because they've got rocks and stuff that they have to avoid on Mars. So, you know, they made it slow. 
Um, yeah, okay, that's good. And all the funds. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to actually research this because I like these. And I've got two. I can use it on both these. That's nice. Okay, so I've got like a large amount of the tech tree sword. I think I'm going to make myself my first plane because planes are awesome. Okay, so Kerbrove, I I'll save you. No, I'm gonna make a new one. All right, so let's make our first speed, not spacecraft, um, aircraft. Uh, okay. So you never seen me make one of these, have you? I don't think. So I'm gonna make that. I'm gonna. No, not like that. Um, I I'll skip forward and show you the finished product. So, this is the plane so far. Needs a... Um, needs one of these. This is what the plane looks like. It's a... Uh, I don't know what it's going to be called. Um, but yeah, it looks really nice. I it, this is a mod called, um, oh, what's it called, procedural um, wings, and what it allows you to do is m modify your wings, like, see this window over here, you can change uh, so many aspects, like, you can even change the colour like I've done here, I made it red and stuff, I like it, uh, close. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna call it, hmm. Um, Psy Plane. Not Spy Plane, Psy Plane. Um, Psy Plane 1. And I'm gonna have some comms devices on it. Uh, communications. Alright, I'm gonna have like one. Like that. So, I'm gonna have it like two on top of here. So it's that. I'm gonna have two on the front as well. There we go. I think as well. Because I've got that, I might have a not like that. A oh, I've only got small batteries. Okay, I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna put a small battery on the front. How many parts have I got so far? Twenty-two. I think I'm gonna put two on, and that should I actually like this as well. I want that. Actually, I'm going to add the uh, lower bit. I'm going to have like two, well, three sets of engines. Well, the set of engines down here. I'm going to have an intake. Yes, please. Put that there. And I'm going to have a nice little engine. And then I think that's good enough to go. I'm just going to lower this a little bit to make it... Yeah, that... Uh, yeah, that should do. So, yeah, I think that's a pretty nice plane. If I do say so myself. Nice. Okay, let's actually. I'm gonna take that back a little forward a bit, back a little bit. There, that's nice. Okay, so that's perfect. Let it. Let's just. How many parts? Oh. I'm one over. I guess I don't need that. Uh, four set of these. I might just um, just have one on the front, and that should work. Yep, perfect. So thirty out of thirty. So I've got the max parts. So let's launch this thing. Hell yeah! Hmm. 
Wow, that looks amazing. Let, let's let's have a look inside. Wow. Nice. Okay, so let's just go ahead and launch this thing. Three, two, one. So, Jebediah, how are you doing? Looks like you're gonna enjoy this flight, huh? I think we ma I might go over to that little island over there. You know the thing with the uh, old parts, if you've seen it before. I'll actually do a crew report. Actually, review. I'm going to transmit whilst I'm going. Done. Okay, nice. You ready? Let's take off. Please? Yeah, perfect. Nice. Look at that. Handling it well. This isn't meant to be patriotic or anything. I'm not that patriotic. But still, it's amazing. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go that way. Alright, let's go. I think this might actually take a while. The steering is... The steering is stiff, but like, you know. It's okay other than that. I'm guessing it's the, uh, Jeb's first... Um, go at this. Alright, let's 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 speed up time, see how it does. Oh, wow, it, it, it's doing really well. It's flying straight. Perfectly. Alright, so... Yeah, I think I'm gonna slow down time again. Have a look back. Wow, we're far away. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna pause it until I get close to the island. Coming in for a perfect landing here. Like, look at this. Oh my god, this is going to be amazing. Like 2,000 meters up. 1,900 meters up. Nice, okay. Oh wow. This is a perfect landing. It's all lined up and everything. Not 100%, but like, it's near enough. About 99%. You know. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to turn off the engines right about now. Alright, turn off. And we're gliding down to the airport pretty nicely. Well, the airfield. Not an airport, this, I don't think. And, oh. Rip, okay. Um, yeah, I, I did a whoopsie. Let's do another crew report whilst we're up here. Transmit. Done. Okay, nice. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna land. Actually, this might actually be better. Um, the turn round. Yeah, the gliding is wearing off, so I think I might have to, like, throttle up a little bit. Turn on the engines. Alright, that should do. About 50, 50 meters a second. Just a little glide. Right, go a little bit towards the runway. That looks nice. That looks really good. And turn right a bit more. And yeah, this is going to be a good landing. Woo! I'm not gonna go up the mountain, that'll take a while. Oh no, I can't plant flags, can I? Yeah. Okay, uh oh, uh oh. Missing the runway. Missing! Holy shit, what? Oh no! Oh, I've still got the engines out. Okay. Um. I won't call that a success, but it's okay. Crew report. Transmit that. Yeah, um, I think I'm gonna have to... I don't actually know. I'm not gonna launch it. Well, relaunch. Okay, so I'm just gonna recover that. Yeah, I think 
I uh, undershot a little bit. The reason that so much stuff blew up, blew up there is probably because um, I'm an idiot. No, um, yeah, I think it's because I slowed down way too early. I think if I was going a little bit faster, I probably would have made it. But it's okay. I've still got quite a bit of money. I'm gonna actually upgrade this because you know that'd be good. Um, so I've got quite a bit of science. I'm going to go for this one next. Actually, no. I'm going to go for this. 15.5, so 0.5 science to go. Okay, so that's a good. that was a good flight. I'm going to just um, fly around for a little bit. I'm going to fly around and collect data until, you know, I've got enough. But, yeah, I'm going to uh, jump cut to that moment. I will go there one day, right there, I will be going there, and that, I will have a uh, Kerbal flag up there, and I will be, and it will be good, it will be one small step for Kerbal kind, okay, so, yeah, woo, oh my god, vertical takeoff, look at that, Right, I'm gonna do a crew report over the oceans. Uh, I think that should be close enough. No. Nope. 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 Crew report? Damn it. Crew. Yay! Okay. Um. I might actually go to that little desert over there. Um, actually, I'm going to go to the mountains and then do some data and then turn. Actually, review. Oh, Alright, transmit that. Transmit this shit. Nice. Okay, so now I'm just going to cruise over there. Alright, so I'm at the um, grasslands, so I'm going to report and transmit. There you go. Read that mission control. Um, how? Oh yeah, these are somewhat cities, but like you know, they they're the ones that are meant to like glow and stuff when you know you get into orbit. I'll, I'll show you if I can. Like that, you know like these are doing here. But yeah, um, yeah these are supposed to be cities as well. I think I'm far enough away now. Alright, crew report, let's see. No, I'm still on the grasslands. So let's get closer here because this has uh, probably got a few highlands that I can explore. I think this might actually be a highland here. This darker patch of grass. Oh no, it's not dark pa patches of grass. It's clouds. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay. Actually, no, I don't think some of it is. I think some of it might actually be dark patches of grass. Crew report. Grass. Okay. So, no, it's an, it's, it is clouds. I am still an idiot. Okay. Actually, there, though. No, that's also a cloud. Stop being an idiot. Okay. Um, I think it might actually be here. No. Crew report? No. Crew? No, okay. Um... I think I'm close though. Nope. And once I've done this, I'm probably gonna, you know, go back to KSC and land properly without missing the runway. Crew report, please? No? I think one day 
when I have time I might do a, like a little time lapse to the North Pole because that'll be fun I wonder if there are any flat curbiness down there yo kerbals do you think the, the curbing's flat? I don't think they do Yeah, Cylons, nice. Let's just transmit. Right, I'm close to the mountains now. Let's pull up a little bit so that you know. Oh hey, I'm above the cloud layer. Oh wow, look at that. That's cool. It's kind of like actual clouds. You know how they actually like, you know, surround mountains quite a lot. It's kind of like that. Alright, crew report, this should be it. Yeah, mountains. Transmit. Perfect. I'm going to turn around now and go back home. I don't know about you. Woo! Alright, I'm going to jump cut to when I actually land. Oh, I'm literally in the cloud right now. Like, look at this. This is brilliant. Like, I, l I love the mod. Um, it's called Environment Visual Enhancements, Eve. It's on the uh, forums, if you want to have a look at it. But, like, it is freaking amazing. Like, look at all the detail in the clouds as well. Like, look at this. It's like a real cloud that I'm going through here. But, no. Oh. I, I just realized, I, I really won't, if I get in VR, I'm definitely going to go in this view and actually chill out, well, see what it's like. I would love to get, like, a, a little, um, you know, an airplane cockpit, like, simulator here. Like, it'd be so cool. I think I'd enjoy it a lot. Uh, rambles. With... Confident Gamer, yay. Uh, yeah, I think I'm... I'm gonna descend a little bit. I was wanting a ship helm as well, if that was the case. Yeah, I'm descending nicely. Alright, I'm gonna jump cut again. Jump cut back at the runway now. I'm gonna try to land this thing, and I think I'm gonna do it pretty well. Cause like I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going quite fast though, so I need to shed off some speed. Might be too fast. Yeah, I'm too fast to land at the moment. I'll I'll turn around. Right, I'm gonna speed up and turn. I'm gonna come in this way now then, because like the other way. It was a lost cause. Okay, so let's go turn in a couple seconds. out here. I think that was actually, wow it actually turns pretty sharp this, this one. About a uh, hundred meters ish radius of turning thing. That's actually pretty cool. Okay this should, I don't know if it will. Actually maybe. It's just I've probably got a couple meters before, you know, crashing this thing, but, you know, I think I might actually make... No, I won't. Okay. I'm going to turn around again, looks like. Okay, so let's ascend. Damn it, Jeb, you're using too much fuel here. I'm, I'm totally not the bomb controlling here. Jeb is. No, just kidding, I am. And Jeb's watching. Wow, this would be amazing. I want to make my own uh, 
spacecraft in the future. It'd be pretty fun, I think. I'm actually going to turn this thing around. I can turn this around, guys. Yay. Alright, I think this is a perfect speed. No. No, not the ground, please. No. No ground. Ah! No. Jebediah. I'm sorry. Damn it. Ah. Okay. I'm sorry, Jeb. Uh, you'll be missed. Yeah, I think. Actually, I've got, I've got the missing crew response on. I think so. I'll, we'll probably see him again. But um, yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. I failed a landing twice. Damn, those landing, that landing is pretty bad. Or well, it's me that's bad. One or two. But yeah, might actually do some unlocking. Oh, I can actually, I'll actually unlock this first. Alright, and then when it's ready, I'm going to unlock that. Oh, I can, that's eight. I'll unlock that as well. Um, okay, so, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you didn't enjoy the video, please leave a dislike. If you use the mod, do you like it? Do you hate it? And yeah, I will see you next time. Stay confident.